Quentin, and this is another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This time I'm going to teach you how to make a basic fire effect. It'll look something like this in the end. So it doesn't look that bad. Um, the tools that we're going to use to make it are all in After Effects, so there's nothing you need to download. Um, it's really easy. You only need like three effects, so let's get started. First, hit composition, new composition, make it about four seconds, make it NTSC DV widescreen, and we can name it fire. So hit OK. Now we have a blank composition where we can make our fire. We're going to make um, a new layer, so layer new solid, make it white. It actually doesn't matter what color you make it. We can name this one fire effect and then make hit make comp size and then hit OK. So now we can see we have a white layer. This is the layer that we're going to apply the basic fire effect into and then later we're going to make um, an adjustment adjustment layer to um, add some uh, more effects to it to make it look more realistic. So now we can go over to the effects and presets and then type in CC particle and you should see CC particle systems 2 and CC particle world. If you can't see it then maybe there will be a serial code on your Adobe After Effects case. So we can drag this onto the layer, and we can see it looks something like this. More like an explosion than fire. And we can also see a grid and a line and a big Z. So to fix that, we can go over here to grid, and you can see floor. Click on that and change it to off. So now we can see it's just the um, explosion. Now go to physics, change the animation to fire. So you should see now it looks a little bit like fire, but not that good. And then we can click on the particle, drop it down, change the particle type to bubble. Now we can take the birth rate and bring it up to about like, maybe actually bring it up to like 12. And then go to the producer and um, bring up the position Y. So now you can see like it's down here. And um, you can like play around with this, like radius Z, I don't even know what that does. You can bring up the position Z and you can see it goes way back. You can like make it up to about like 0.4 and you can see that you can bring it up even more. Just bring it up to the way you like it. And then, now we're done creating the basic fire effect. But this isn't exactly the basic fire effect because we need to add some more um, effects. So now we can go to layer, new, adjustment layer. This layer we're going to add some like more effects to like a blur and a glow. So go back into the effects and presets and type in glow. And you should see a glow below stylize. Drag that onto the adjustment layer. You can see it looks pretty bright. We're going to go up to glow operation. Oh no, I mean, sorry. Glow colors. Change it to A and B colors. And then change color A to a yellow and then color B to an orange. And you can like drag up the glow intensity to the way you like it. But um, it won't really help right now because we need to also add a blur and then we can see the glow change. So now type in over here in the effects and presets, CC vector, and you should see CC vector blur. That's the only thing that should come up. Sorry, the phone just rang. Um, drag that onto the adjustment layer. And then, um, now you can see, oh, I didn't drag it in. 
Drag it onto the adjustment layer, and you can see it now appears. Okay, that was annoying. Um, bring the amount up, so now you'll see it looks a little like this. Um, so you can see it looks pretty nice, except for the fact that it's really narrow. And um, you can change that by clicking on the fire effect layer. And then, um, I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, bring up the radius X, but not too much. So just bring it up to the amount you like. And if it doesn't look that good, you can go back up to the birth rate and you can raise that more. And it'll change that too. So let's see if we bring it up really high, it looks okay. And then go back to the adjustment layer, bring down the glow effect, and now we can bring back up the glow intensity. And it'll, now, now that we've added the vector blur, we can see a little more glow f happen. So um, now we can add in the sound effects. I just have one sound effect, which is like a forest fire sound effect. And, um, then we can preview it, which might take a while. Sorry. Okay, we can just watch it like this. And let's just preview it a little more because we can't see it that well. But um, yeah, this is a pretty much the finished product. You can try to make it even better by adding in more effects, but this is the way that I like it. So now we can preview it. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and um, I'll see you next time.